It is the joy of every parent to see their children grow up and be given out in marriage. It is on this basis that the family of Akala Gajeri on Thursday, 25th March 2021, organized an elaborate occasion to send forth their daughter Agnes to her matrimonial home. <laughs> This program is not without pomp and pageantry as people from all walks of life converge on this ancient village of Koso to celebrate with her. Sometimes marriage is not a bed of roses. Uh, there are sometimes you see squabbles among the people. It is a uh, equipment of them to, to on them to sit down and settle their uh, little differences amicably. We pray that uh, Almighty God will richly bless her and bless the, the, the family and bless the entire Gajere family and that uh, God will bless the union and make her to be fruitful and she will represent the family very well. Most of us are here because of what Akala is to us and to the local government. Uh, God gave him the opportunity to be the chairman of the local government and we have seen that he's somebody who has been working towards the advancement and development of our local government area. And all it takes for us, or all that is demanded of us, is to lend support to him. But beyond that, uh, it is our desire and prayer that this home that will be established in one or two days' time will be predicated on God. I'm calling on her most especially. She, the woman, should exercise the maximum amount of patience in the house because it is the woman that makes the house. Samuel, along with his father, Akala Gajiri, and his mother, Talatu, who wished Agnes well in her matrimonial home, cautioned her against going contrary to the good virtues imparted on her by her family. Today, I am happy that God is giving me the opportunity to witness this occasion. Therefore, my prayers for her is that whatever success myself and my family will record it, she will exceed it by the grace of God. I feel like crying tears of joy to God, I'm so happy. And I want to thank God for my parents, for bringing me to this world, for bringing me to this time. And especially I want to thank God for my second parent today. There was earlier prayer on Agnes by members of Evangelical Church Winning All, Ekwa Koso, led by the Reverend in charge of the church, Ang Azumi Jimba, for a peaceful and prosperous matrimonial home. Saturday, the 27th day of March 2021, was a special day in the life of Agnes Akalagajiri and her suitor, Thomas, as the duo invited dignitaries from within and outside the state to witness the exchange of vows as husband and wife at Evangelical Church Winning All, Equa and Gwanjaba in Panda Development Area. I have been married for over 10 years, and over these 10 years, she has been with me. She raised all our children. This morning, it is with joy in my heart that I hand over you my kid sister Agnes for her to be wedded to Mr. Thomas Eden. I will do this in the name of the Father, Amen. the Son, Amen. and the Holy Spirit. Mr. Thomas Ego, yes, sir. will you not have this woman to be their wedded wife, to live together after God's ordinance in the holy instead of matrimony? Will thou love her, comfort her, honor her, and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep thee only unto her, so as long as ye both shall live by the grace of God. In God. The wedding, officiated by Reverend Samaila Ahmed of Ekwa Ado in New Karu, came after it was confirmed that the groom fulfilled all the marital rights according to choral tradition and adhered to the let down rules set by Equa with regards to marriage. On behalf of Equa New Karu DCC and the DCC, I am directed to inform you that 
the following persons who are intended to be joined have been tested and duly certified. They are Miss Agnes Akala Gajere, bride to be, say he makes it go. And then Mr. Thomas Ego, groom to be. Then came the exchange of rings between the two as symbol of everlasting love, even as the officiating minister declared them as husband and wife. Based on the power bestowed on me to be the servant of God under the umbrella of Ekwa, I here now present to you Mr. and Mrs. Thomas Ego in the name of the Father. In a message after the wedding solemnization, the host Reverend Joseph Ago, who spoke on the topic marriage is God's plan, stressed the need for the wife to submit completely to her husband and the husband to love only his wife as enshrined in the Holy Bible. Immediately after the wedding solemnization, a reception was held at the playground of LEA Primary School and Gwanjaba in honor of the couple who showcased their dance steps amidst cheers. <laughs> The couple, Mr. and Mrs. Thomas Ego Aguay, who appeared set to begin their new home, described the day as historic and one they will always live to remember. For Good Morning Nasarawa, I am Moses John, reporting.